Your cards are telling you that it's time for new beginnings. Get your fire back. Get your flame back. Get inspired again. Don't let what's happening keep you in the dark. It's time to grow up from the seed that you've been. You've been buried. It's time to grow. The moon, yes, you have fears and you need to face them. Get out of the murky water and look through the clouds and the mist. Fly. Don't be afraid. You have to know the truth, and the truth is trying to appear before you if you'll only open your eyes. And then the star, it's telling you, hope, faith, and love, you can rise above. The star is all about miracles, love, hope, renewal, the birth of something new, never giving up on your dreams, okay? Believe and receive it. The Queen of Cups, which is who you are, full of emotions, you run on your heart. I mean, your heart just, with every beat, it's all about love, romance, and you need a fresh drink. You need to be renewed in love, sort of baptized again, having a renewal of spirit, and you've been wounded and you've been hurt, but it's time to feel those wounds and be healed again with, with a new drink, with, with a new elixir. The Page of Pentacles. Pages are the messengers. And as you can see, as the Queen of Cups, you're standing with the water and the lotus flower. And here, this is about green, the earth, and attainment. The cup is your dream. The coin is when you hold that dream in your hands, when you hold that person in your arms. And you've got to believe that you're going to be able to take from the water that you're going to grow that seed and you're going to have what you've wanted for so long. The Fool, this is all about faith and new beginnings. Stepping out, she's like out in the clouds, a whole new world, new beginnings, not being jaded, not being... Um, held captive because the world can be so cruel. It's like being a butterfly and flying again. The Nine of Swords, you've had a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of worry, a lot of hurt, and really it's over another person. There's been a lot of drama, and things are not as bad as you're feeling right now. You're going to wake up from this nightmare soon. Give your worries wings. Give your anxieties to the angels. Easier said than done. The king of wands, he's telling you to take this ace of wands and master your flame. Master your desire. Master your destiny. Be strong. Take control right now of your life and of your passion. The hangman, he's hanging by a snake and he's upside down. And that's how you've been feeling. And right now, it's time for you to meditate, pray, and wait just a little bit more before you make any decisions. Don't make decisions in the heat of the moment. More, more introspection is necessary. Look at your soul in the mirror. And then we have the final card, which is the Hierophant. I call it the Jesus card, but it's all about faith following your faith, your path, what is right for you. The hanged one is about that too. He's the yogi of the tarot, telling you to sort of release everything. Let it go. Let go and let God. Let the coins fall where they may. Realize that you can't control other people. And this card is simply telling you, make your decision based on your faith. It's your walk. Some walks we take alone. You have to do this on your own. You can listen to other people. You can have a card reading, talk to a counselor, a friend, a relative. But in the end, it's got to be your decision.